Well, this morning, uh, it's about 14 degrees out, and my uh, blower fan for my heater air conditioner quit working. So I picked one up on the uh, way home from work, and uh, you got to pull these out. You should be able to, now my tabs have been broke for years. You should be able to just lift that up, and then you probably want to disconnect this uh, hose on your radiator cap. I went a little farther. I pulled this off. This pops right out. It's got a couple tabs. I pulled that all out. Got that out of my way. And uh, and that's what I'm going to be doing next. Took out the uh, overflow tank. Took out the air cleaner. Got all that crap out of here. I found it. And now look what it says on the blower housing. Cut between ribs for blower motor service. So I gotta get a razor knife in there and somehow cut that thing out of there. Otherwise you gotta take this entire thing off, the evaporator, air conditioner unit, everything. That's not gonna happen. So I'll start whacking away. You just cut this out of here, I guess. Yeah, it broke through that. I don't know how I'm going to get around the back side there. That's going to be fun. But we'll just keep going. Okay, don't forget that little screw right there. Even though I got it all cut out, I was trying to pull it out and I realized there was a screw right there. So make sure you get that one. Alright, I got this plastic cover off of the blower motor. And the way it's designed, it's like almost like they put sealant around certain areas of it and there's only a couple spots you really had a cut but the part I screwed up was is that this little bolt here goes right there and holds it all together and um, that bolt right there is a 7 seconds screw so I got this out of the way now. Now you can see in there, and you can actually see the blower motor, finally. There it is. So I gotta take the rest of the screws out, and hopefully that'll pop right out. Okay, I was able to get the new one in, and instead of, I didn't even take this screw out here. Um, that would've helped. But I basically just lifted this up here, lifted that one like that and it came out right through this hole right here so that was a big deal you got to turn it the right angle to get it installed so that goes in there and I uh, did put some uh, dielectric grease on my connections on the speed control whatever you call that thing and uh, the connection for the blower and I did test it and it does work so I'm going to proceed with putting all the screws in and put all this stuff back together. I just put it all back together and uh, this is the old heater motor fan. And what would happen was sometimes I'd be able to come over here and just bang the housing, like right here, beat on a little bit. And it would actually kick in and start working, but it was starting to howl. And then on the way home tonight it didn't work at all, so I figure it's time. We're, we're pushing 200,000 miles on this truck, this van, and uh, to my knowledge, it's original. It's got the original sticker on it, so it was time. <laughs>